Welcome to the Daily Code Mentor episode 3. I'm Alex uh, or Alessandro as you would rather call me from Code Mentor and uh, today we're talking about, uh, this is a very short episode, we're talking about simple dependencies, the bugging flow. So the way in which we go about debugging a bunch of dependencies. So today a client of mine came up and told me that they were having issues running tests. Specifically they were running a test with Jest and uh, uh, they were using a specific tool which was, uh, the exception was referring to a library called popper.js. Um, through deeper investigation, we actually realized that the actual dependency that was used was, uh, was another one, it was called something else. And so by quickly checking inside of the issues raised for the bigger dependencies, uh, we managed to solve the problem fairly rapidly. So my advice, whenever you get a weird exception for specific use cases, let's say you're running Puppeteer, let's say you're running Cheerio in your Node.js install, and for some reason an exception that has to do with a dependency of Cheerio froze. Um, so instead of running and immediately trying to assess what is wrong with the dependency, figure out if there's a, um, if there's a specific solution that you can apply on the parent file. So rule number one is make it simple. Ignore the package name, even ignore the exception. Just use the exception as a, as a way for you to search around the web, uh, but search in relation to your bigger package, to the biggest package that you can go up to, so that that way you, you, you're more likely to find a solution because the biggest package most likely is used by more people and as such can provide the biggest insight. So always start with the parent package and the parent dependency and make it only as complicated as it needs to be. Progressively go deeper. If uh, your use case is that specific, then you may actually have to go deeper, and you do so only as much as you have to. Uh, one great advice is the one, uh, is the one that I give every, every student. This advice is worth, probably is worth tw like a literally a 20% speed up on all of your time, so pay attention. If you're working with JavaScript, I'm just adding a new slide. JavaScript, easy debugging. Just do this. Every time you have a function with method name, param, and you need to log something, just take the habit of writing in console.log, the name of the method, then a space, then the name of the param, then close the string, and then paste out the name of the param. If you do this, and then maybe you have a, a method that throws, throws. The hardest part is uh, typing that in, okay? Now you're going to be able to figure out if uh, the first part is running and the second part is going as well, right? So this way you can assess what's going on and you can go deeper. And uh, this is very, uh, what I'm highlighting is very redundant when you have one log statement, but it becomes basically essential as soon as you have more than five or if you're working with multiple nested dependencies. So as I said, make it as simple as you can but make it only as complicated as it needs to be. So whenever you do need to make it more complicated, do it, but only as much as it needs to. So with that said, I'm Alex. You can find me on codementor.io slash Alessandro Valerani. There's a link in the description, and I wish you an amazing day. Ciao.